All right, everyone, welcome back to PacWest Bigfoot. Got something really interesting for you uh, today on the interviews. Um, I will not be using the individual's name as he uh, uh, works in a pretty important capacity. Um, and uh, this does have to do with some of the questions I was asked about last year's monster fires up around the Northern California area. So we'll be kind of going through that and maybe some sort of, you know, experiences. People have been seeing things, hearing things, whatever, during those fires. This is one of those answers uh, that we've been hearing uh, from different channels and uh, different uh, voices online. And today I'm going to kind of be adding to that uh, to that uh, uh, testimony uh, testimony here. So, real quick with PacWest Bigfoot guys, um, I'm back uh, once again. My apologies for a little bit of end of last month and the beginning of this month being so busy getting into my real estate career and everything. It's going really well already, so it's pretty nice. And uh, thank you guys for your patience. Um, if you guys uh, want a hoodie or a coffee mug or you guys want to get something cool, I'm thinking about uh, putting together some water bottles if you guys want some for your uh, treks out there this summer. So I'm thinking about getting those ready and getting them out there for you. Uh, other than that, I kind of really want to get into this week's uh, uh, interview or encounter uh, story. Um, this is... Uh, uh, I think this is a this is going to be awesome because um, this really is going to answer... A, a lot of the questions that I've heard online about the, the fires and everything this last uh, uh, fall and summer, yeah, as far as uh, Bigfoot encounters um, are concerned. So, like I said, I'm not going to introduce him by name, uh, but you're going to uh, know that he uh, serves a pretty important capacity. And also, I want to say my hat's off to him and want to say thank you so very much for him and his service. Uh, uh, to his uh, state and uh, to our uh, national forest. So anyways, guest, <laughs> welcome. Can you hear me okay? Yes, sir. All right, all right, awesome. My hat's off to you, and I'm sure everybody on the PacWest uh, Bigfoot channel, our hats are off to you and say thank you so very much for all of your hard work and uh, your dedication uh, and risking a lot out there um, to, uh, to save what you can. So anyways, I know you have something interesting to share with us and go ahead and tell us um, kind of a general area where you were at. You don't have to get too specific, but general and what you were doing there and what you experienced. And I'll let you take over. So I guess around mid-California, central California, the lower Sierra Nevada, I guess you can mm -hmm. say. Um, there was a, a fire, this is in the... Kern Mountains. Um, there was a a helitai crew. We went. I went to go relieve them. We we stayed for nights, but the first night was there was pretty interesting. I I pretty much it was a quick thing. We we got off. We loaded them up, and I just pretty much asked them um where they bed down at, so we wouldn't like disturb more area, make our own camp, and make camps here and there. You know, like all over the place so I just asked them where they bear down and they just pointed right there like in the meadow it was like a 50 foot spot like those crop dust they just like smashed the tall grass around they laid down right there and okay that's where I put our red bags our overnight gear put it right there we were just slinging loads out bringing gear in for the crews the fire already had done its thing but at the the top, top area, there was just a smoldering smoke we were going to put out still. It's about a, about a good almost two hours from the meadow to where the highest peak of the mountain was at. Mm -hmm. Well, the crews start coming in. We start bending down, and it's four of us. I'm kind of close to one of my buddies, and, and before he, he lays down, he puts on his, his tool, and he puts his helmet on top of the tool, so it kind of like a looked like a scarecrow thing. Mm -hmm. I asked him the next year. He said it was um because one of his buddies had got a spider in there and he got bit in the head, so that's why he did that. And I kind of laid down next to him there, and then there was one that snored, so it was kind of a little bit <laughs> farther from us. He snored pretty loud. <laughs> <laughs> and then another one. Well, he there the guy that snored was on the 
on the trail, which I couldn't see till I found out that night. He was like on the on the right side of the trail. He was the only one there because you know the loud snorer guy. And then the three of us were on the I guess left side of the trail, which would be south. And then my I guess I when I laid down, my my head was facing north, and east and, east and west was the trail to me, and my feet were towards the south. I remember that because, you know, I got to give the winds to the helicopter as it comes in mm-hmm. all the time from where and, and stuff. So pretty much I, um, that night, I just remember um, finding the spot. It was kind of late already. We got there like around five-ish, six. And pretty much I uh, fed down, I guess, on the, on the freaking trail, which I didn't know. And my buddies... Since that guy was snoring a lot, my the buddy, the one that put the tool up, kind of like a scarecrow, he was close to me. I'll send you the crew video when I can and the picture, and, and you'll see. <laughs> and um, well, he um, he had headphones on, cause so he was listening to music, and the one that's kind of farther from me had it. He put on earplugs because the guy was just snoring loud. I didn't really mind it. Well, I wasn't prepared either. Or else I probably would have had something in my ears too. <laughs> yeah. But I just, the first night I hardly sleep, you know, I just stay up. I remember looking at my phone. It was 2.45. And I'm like, oh, here goes another night, not sleeping. Not saying that it took, the encounter took that long. But I remember looking at my phone, 2.45. I had it there. And then just remember... At 3.33 is when I looked at my phone again. That's when that thing had left. Mm-hmm. But so I wasn't in really too much of a sleep. I must have slept like on a little hill or something. I just remember turning around. I kind of slid out of my um, slid out of my sleeping bag. Don't know if it was because of a hill. Like half a foot. It was kind of weird. Like kind of felt like if I just got like dragged out like. Maybe God helping me out, telling me you're not, it's not your time, or I don't know. Mm-hmm. I remember like just sliding out and then looking towards the side, and then like, dang, I'm on a trail, you know, it's, not, it's all dirt. And then under this grass, and then you know how Contra, the, you know, the spreaders, when you get up and you see like the black dots? Mm-hmm. Kind of okay. I, I was seeing that, and all the dots left except for this one in the middle. And I'm like, dang, what is that? All the, you know, and then it kept on, it was getting closer. I'm like, dang, this freaking dot, it's something because it hasn't, well, disappeared or dissipated, whatever you could you say. Mm-hmm. And then, so I start looking in closer, closer, it's dark. And then towards the south, southeast, the, the, the moon was already above the trees, you know, like, it was above the trees, so on the on on towards my feet, towards the south side, you the the, the lighting was dark, but it, it like on the on the other side of my my head, I guess the north, that there was the light you could see more, you know, because so this thing starts moving and I start seeing like it it, it like a like a silhouette. I, I just I'm just thinking soldier. I'm not like something's going down here because. I see like the hair, you know, like how they put on the, the, the hunters or snipers, like the silhouette thing, then the hair kind of flies up and down, like when it's moving. Mm-hmm. That's what I was seeing. And <laughs> it was dark, dark. And then, but but the right side of it, when it hit the moonlight, I could see like a cinnamon brown or, but when it got a like, they had some pretty good camouflage hair or I don't, kind of seemed like two, but I think it was just the lighting. Uh, when it would, Get on the when it got the on the rice moving the arms the it, this thing was fudge it was um the arms it was weird it was like like a model it walked straight up straight like uh, it was just I just got me stuck you know that's why I couldn't I just froze David I, it it, mm-hmm. it was freaking scary um the the arms were moving more than the freaking legs and the body was like weird like like a model on a runway but the legs are walking for it like the feet weren't even moved. like the arms were like going before it's below its knees mm-hmm. and then on the 
I could see like shiny, like on the where, where the arm bands, like if it had like, you know how you put like greasers, we, we would put three flowers in our hair and kind of slick our hair back. <laughs> I remember that <laughs> back yeah. in the day. <laughs> that, that those, it, it, the hair looked like that on the right to so like kind of like where it bends your, your, it has shiny like that. And, and then this thing starts, it's all tall grass except for that area we smash, right? Like when we sleep. And, and this thing starts just walking forward, forward. And I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna get shot. There's a sniper out here. And then, oh no, that's not a sniper. It's like freaking monster. So it, it, it it's walking towards, I could kind of feel a little bit vibrating, but like all my other sense, like my eyes and hearing were just there. But like, I just like froze. I couldn't like hear, speak. I was like, like freaking frozen. And so anyway, it, it starts, it starts walking and then like it crunches down once it sees my the, the the tool and the and the helmet the hard hat on top of the tool it starts you know like kind of like Deion Sanders you know how he gets in the in the end zone and does like a little hop yeah I remember I remember Deion Sanders yeah it did when it saw the tool it crouched down and it did like like it started hopping like and then it oh yeah right there on the trail be, be like 20 to 30 feet from us there was like a group of like six trees, 80 feet, not, not too big. Hmm. Pecker pose, you know, 80 feet. And then it, it, it started hopping and then jumped behind those trees. And then it started playing that peekaboo thing. And, and, and then it, it hit for a while. Then it jumped on the, it jumped back on the trail, I guess, moving his arms like, you know, like, I guess E Honda, the that that Street Fighter wrestler, you know, I moves the, the hands all kind of kind of crazy. Like he really, I don't know, like threw him up in the air, like doing circular motions, just threw the the hands up, and then from there it got on all fours, and it and then on the no, hang on, I'm gonna let me see if it okay. It's because it jumped on the trees, okay, and then went. When it seen that, it got on all fours. It started like freaking, I don't know if it did that. See, cause I get mixed up cause it did that on both sides. It got on all fours and they, I seen it like freaking jumping, crawling, whatever it is, it does, leaping, I guess. Mm -hmm. It did it on the, on the right side of me and I'm like, it did it towards where kind of the snoring guy was at. Mm -hmm. But somehow it would hop back and it was back in front of the tool and us, me and my buddy in front of us, but it is kind of creepy. And then it, it did that and it jumped back on the trail and it threw the arms up again. And then it, and it did, it went back on all fours on the, on the other side of me. And then it, it, and then it, it jumped kind of close to like by my buddy's feet and, and, and behind the tool all the time. It never stood in front of the tool. It was always like, it's about to snatch a purse. You know how you're just getting ready to snatch something. You're getting ready to run like, yeah. Kind of to the side, never like face. Well, right there, it got up. And then I, I like to see it's black cause it's on the, on the south end of the trail. So the, 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 the light, the moonlight wasn't really, you know, it was, I just saw dark. I, I remember looking at the, at the, at the grass, following the grass up and then just seeing a big or like huge freaking stomach, like freaking huge. And then as I'm going up and it's kind of like black, you know, black and white. Cause also you can see that some, it's kind of lighter, maybe lesser hair or something. Mm -hmm. And then, so, and then I'm starting following up and I see like big old cantaloupe breasts, like freaking huge. Double D's ain't have nothing on those. <laughs> freaking <laughs> huge. And I'm just right there. And then as it's, I could see that the face, I could see like, I, I could see the, the teeth, not like really good, but just the lining when, when, when the eyes would get like moonlight, I would <laughs> see, you know, like the black and white again. But then when it would like, Close his eyes, I would see its mouth, like the light, like, so it must have been smelling or like 
Because when it would, I wouldn't see his eyes, I would see the bottom. So I think it was showing the teeth. And then when I wouldn't see the teeth, I would see the the light in the eyes again. The, like the lighting. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm right there. Uh, and the word changing moment, I pissed myself. Uh, I admit it. And it did that, and then it hopped. It hopped on the trail again, and then it got on the other side of the of the tool. So now I can see it's on the moonlight. Now I can see like the brown color. The the it's still sideways, kind of you know like it's never like forward sideways. This time it kind of has like the the side and it it the hands bending down over and it's looking like like the samurai kind of drawings. You know how their eyes are like big and kind of Chinese or like you know low. The eyes were like that. The face was like into it. Then it had like three ripples, kind of like black leathery. And 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 the eyes were just. This is how it got me stuck on the eyes. It was just like looking up, down, and around, like weird, kind of like if it was sick, you know, like if it was kind of like. I don't know how you say like those Abbey kids kind of you know like mm -hmm. poor poor guys that have the I think. Down syndrome? Well, I don't know what it is. Yeah, Down syndrome. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've heard it, that before, actually. It, it looked like that, and then I'm like, damn, what's he doing? But at the same time, the, the his his hand was like, it was showing me like the knuckles, then it turned the hand around, and I could I could see the hands, you know how our fingers have those lines? It, it was like marshmallow, like blumpy, like big, like the, you could see the lines so perfect, kind of like ashy, black ashy mm -hmm. hands. And it was turning the, the hand around and then down, but at the, at the same time, it was getting lower and lower. And like, fudge, this thing either gonna, looks like it's gonna snatch up my buddy or me, you know? Like, I'm, and I'm just frozen. I'm just like a freaking deer in the headlights, man. I'm hmm. just looking at this thing. Holy, I'm pissing myself. <laughs> Damn, it was, and it turning the hand. And and the second time it turned the hand, it was getting too low for me already. And I just went like, whoa. And I kind of spun out to the right side and that thing just hopped out and left. I I I, I don't know if it, that's why I, I don't know if I surprised it because of the tall grass and it didn't see us because we, you know, we didn't have no tents. We were just in our sleeping bag. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, this, that, that, I don't know. It's some, some things bring up more details, but I, you know, like sometimes when I be hearing you guys, it'll bring out details. But that's what I kind of could think about. I'll think about right now, just, just that. And then that night I didn't. Well, I didn't sleep nothing till the sun kind of raised up, and then I needed to pee again. I just unzipped my sleeping bag. I didn't even get up. So I thought once it was like it was standing next to us, and then it looked black. The head was round, so I was thinking, oh, these. This thing is round, you know, but once it got on all fours and I seen that big old butt and the I could see the conical thing in the in the head now once it was on all fours, but <laughs> I, it was like I'm like, what the what the hell is the freaking silver bag doing out here in the woods? <laughs> so I, I kinda you know like hey, that was my my thing, I don't know if I'm leaving like details out because you know how they come up to you sometimes. And but with, when it, it was just reaching his arm, was getting lower and it was turning it, it turned it like three times. And mm -hmm. once it got like kind of low, like I don't know if it was gonna look like it was gonna snatch my buddy or me. And I just went like, turn around, I was like, whoa, guy was like, oh, like, whoa, like. That's the only thing that could come out of my mouth at the time. <laughs> and I spun on the right and I think just hopped out and left. And then the next morning, or well, freaking a few minutes later, because I didn't, you know, I didn't sleep. My buddy, I could hear him kind of rustling. He's grabbing his phone to take a picture and then boom, it got me up right away. And I love, you can see my eyes are, you can tell I had a rough night. I had the, the DVD, or well, it's like a DVD thing tonight. Uh, I'm gonna try to send it to you. Okay. So you can see like the you can see us flying towards the areas and you know towards the, it'll say Erskine too right there in the videos. 
and just the next day I was just remembering it. I was just down, you know, and then the, the guy that snores, he's like, well, all the other guys had earplugs and headphones, so I thought they were smart, you know, they could, but nah, I, I want my ears out. I'm not going to be wearing no headphones no more. <laughs> earplugs, <true> that. <laughs> I'd rather no be way. aware of hear, yeah, hear everything. I was, I was, I was like, man, I don't even come prepared. Look at these guys, they're all. Yeah, huh? I'd rather be able to hear what's yeah. around me. I, I've never been able to listen to, you know, music or, you know, anything really at night uh, uh, while camping or anything. Even when I was younger, I didn't. I just, I just preferred the. It, it seemed like it was safer and better to just to just listen to wild just in case. You never know wildlife. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's gonna be my motto now too. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Just um, the, the next day, I remember, you know, I didn't even want to move or nothing. I was still like in, what did I see? Like, pretty much quiet, kept to myself. And the guy that was snoring, he's like, hey, something was out there walking around and around us, huh? And I just shook my head. I didn't have no words. I was tired. I was like, mm-hmm. and then, so I was just so scared. And then the uh, the thing, I didn't even, the, the track, the one that I sent you was um, the next day. Well, that, I'll, I'll go to that right now, but what was I going to say? Dang it. Okay, yeah, it's about the grass. Okay, um, when it, it, it leaped on the grass, you know how you just kind of mm-hmm. scared and like over the edge and just looking like, but then you don't want to go all the way? Well, that's yeah. how I was, you know, because I was still like scared, or I guess, or whatever. But the, the grass, I kind of like walked it like 10, like 10, 10 of my paces, the, the, the grass would just like push where the feet, I think it was where the feet was, the feet were like going outward and the arms were like kind of inward, like the, like people walking, you know how you smash on the grass? Mm-hmm. It's, it was bent over. So I think that's where he was like leaping or, or, you know, like, cause when, where it would land, it was big old smashing and pressing right there. Then when mm-hmm. they leaped, it was just like pressed, like, you know, kind of bent it over, but not smashed. Kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that, and then I was just peeking, looking at that. And then that was the first night. I still had to stay three more nights right there. Mm-hmm. Oh, so it is. I, yeah, after, after that, I just got off the trail, made me like a MRE wall, a red bag wall, and I... That's where I slept for the rest of the two days. Well, yeah. um, this was on um, June thirtieth. It was a Thursday. So I went back on the logbook. I think I was telling you so I could get okay. it back. And then you said there was another one, something about the Sequoia National Forest. I think recently. Yeah, th- this is the whole same area, but but th- this was in the Kern County Mountain, and then where where the where the Golden Trout Wilderness. That's in the in the Tulare County Mountains, so like it's closer to us. It's it's from here where I live at in Portable. It's a twenty minute flight, and you're in the wilderness already. But from my from our fire station, which is Peppermint Work Center, it's mm-hmm. we're like the second highest in the region five of elevation, and then the other station just beat us by a few hundred feet. So we're we're up there. Okay. But anyways, the um, the golden trout. This is where I I, I sent Will some pictures, where where I received a sling load, and then you can see he was talking about something hitting the sun, and then I I I, I got it. I sent it to him. I don't know if you you guys talked about it or now. Well, this 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 place, it's called Lions Lions Camp. I guess it's a it's a. Mm-hmm teenager camp where they're trying to get the bad te- I guess from 12 to 15 they go like troubled teens it's a mm-hmm. camp where they go they do their survival thing whatever well okay. there was a, a, a lightning fire there and I was a IC5 trainee so it was 11 acres at the, at the time when we get there this is the lions area we're walking around, scouting down, and the Kern River, 
we, we, we tried to get blacker on it so so it wouldn't come hard at the at the buildings and burn them down. So we kind of it'll die down once it hit the black that we did. Mm-hmm. Uh, my well, my supervisor was taking fire down to the Kern River, and that's like for us it took us like about forty, almost two hours, two forty or so. He took fire all the way down to the river. And then we're getting a lot of spot fires coming towards the the thing. So we we usually fly out every day, but this night we had to stay the night because the fire was getting close to the cabins and stuff. Mm-hmm. So we're just jumping spot to spot. We caught it finally, and then at that like around I say maybe one or two in the morning, mm-hmm. this thing like faintly like you could just hear do the thing like like. Holding W A like wow, holding A for like a good while, and then so you press U for like ooh, and then mm. and then oh afterward like oh, did it three times and so low you could barely hear it. The some of the guys slept in the cabin, so they didn't hear. I slept outside of the cabin, so I was I was hearing everything by the creek. I was. I was right there. I'm, I guess I always put myself in a good spot. <laughs> mm-hmm. And well, I did that three times, and I'm like, oh man, here we go again. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not sleeping tonight. <laughs> so, no, yeah, not after the one month previous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's like I know what that is. <laughs> yeah, you have to like. Oh, it is man. not. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a monster. So, anyways, and then. That happened, and then like two to three hours later, I think it was just beating feet, and and I brought a map of it because I got the map and I got a few thing, few a uh, footprint I took. It was, mm-hmm. there was like a, a a pine tree. It was in the, in in the same meadow because lion's meadow, but it's all like grassy green, you know, kind of wet too. Sometimes like a mm-hmm. yeah marshy. Well, two an hour and a half or two hours later, this thing like. It, it was above us because we were where the cabins are out. You're already 10 minutes up. You're already at the top top. I think it's White Mountain. It is White Mountain in the Golden Trout Wilderness. Um, mm-hmm. It gets up there and then you just, like I told you when my buddy ties his pit bull, <laughs> the girl, it like, kind of like, it, it did it like, why? Oh, I only did it two times. They didn't do the, the oh, it just did it like two times, like it's it's cool right here, like family, like I don't know, it's pretty freaking pretty intelligent if you tell me doing it three times there and then where where the fire stopped at, it did the like, why oh two times. But you can hear it freaking loud. I was like, Oh shoot. Yes. But it just it just did that to I guess for its family. For the family. Or for whoever's out there, you know, and these out, and this is like the northern part of the forest, so it's not the same freaking family. I think there's a lot more of these things that that people think, or you know, or unless the fires are scooting them, you know, making them. Yeah, them. you know that. Uh, for me, that's probably. That's that's probably the that's the reason. I, I think that's the reason for such a. From what I'm hearing out here, there was a, a pretty big increase of visuals, vocalizations, and things like that through last year. But you'll notice that a spike of the, that spike seemed to happen during those times. So um, everything's going to move on a fire. The only the only species that moves to a fire are people. <laughs> and yeah. that's because we're trying to fight it um yeah. all other species you know move from a fire uh, animals move from it so um you know as far as i'm concerned i mean that's you know i mean if you're sitting in the thick of it like you were you know battling these fires i mean that's yeah and then you know you're back say miles away you know, 10 miles or so away from a fire and you're, that's where you're camped out. You know, those things are moving in these different directions yeah. away from the fire. So you're, you know, the chances of 
you know, crossing paths with these things is just obvious. Yeah. yeah. Well, so. that, that, that whole golden trout area, that, that's since 2014. Mm-hmm. Like when I took those pictures on my my phone, it, it died out, but I got the chips, but I, I got my buddy, and I'm going to tell him to send them, send them to you, and then I'll tell you where to look at. So yeah, that would be great. Yeah, go ahead and email those to me, PacWestBigfoot at gmail.com. I, I got the I got the, yeah. the the map. I just I just was being, you know, kind of nervous of sending you a picture through my email and the map with the you know the logos of the you know the, the green. Yeah, green yeah. Green Anytime green. you send me and that and you don't want logos on there, just let me know. I have cropping software, so I can okay. I can crop cool. things out. All right. Yeah, yeah, not an that. issue. And for all of you that are listening to this, and uh, um, I'll, I'll get those pictures out there as soon as I can get them, get them from you, and then uh, I'll post those up there on Facebook for everybody. So that's awesome, man. <laughs> that, yeah, that, that <laughs> that's intense. <laughs> yeah, that um, I, and I couldn't tell nobody. You know, you get that ridicule, and then you know they just. I couldn't, I didn't tell nobody till the next year. The guy that was next to me, I kind of pretty much told him, hey, why'd you put the, kind of putting things together, why'd you put the tool like that, you know? And then he told me, oh, just because one of my buddies got bit by a spider in his head. So I did that. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. But that day before I went to sleep, I put a lot of gold bond on my feet. Mm-hmm. So at least there would have been some type of, if I would have gone missing, at least there would have been <laughs> without me. <laughs> <laughs> we found powder. <laughs> <laughs> powder nice. Though, it's powder. <laughs> but nice. That, whole, that golden trout area, um, there was like a little a pine tree pushed down, and it looked like a lot of ant, ant little mountain hill things. And then let, I, me, I, let me roll this up on the map real quick. Um, give give me the name of that again, slowly. Um, lions. Gold, um, it's, the golden trout is called lions. Lions Meadow. The camp, I think it's Lions Camp too. It's, it's, it's like a teenager for a troubled teen. Let's see. I I have the map. It has um coordinates. Lions Meadow Trail. Oh, okay. And so they do have a trail on that. And I it's can do like uh, four to five cabins. It, okay, it follow um Lions Creek. And, and if there's like a white mountain, it's in that. And, and or if you see the Kern River, that's at the bottom. And that's where my the fire it, we we tied it to the river so it wouldn't jump, you know, cross it over. We blackened it out. That's and that's where that I think that thing was yelling at first, and then when it ran up, it ran up. This was in up. Sequoia National Forest. Yeah. Lions. Let's see. Hmm. Having a hard time finding that on the map. Yeah, it's a. I think it's in some maps and some not. Um, well, that that lions area is pretty. It's cracking right there. Mm-hmm. Why well, there was a, a down tree when the ant scene there was like a a footprint right there and I sent that to Will. Here that is was- the Sequoia National Forest. We got Mount Whitney, Midway Mountain, Kern Peak. Yeah. yeah. Is it in that area? It's a um kind of follow the the park. The yeah from the Inyo it, it, it the Inyo is the next forest over, which would be, yeah, Mount Whitney. It's, it's a little lower than Mount Whitney. Around. Just a little lower than Mount Whitney. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got Mount Pickering, Johnson Peak, and uh, it looks like Mua Mountain. Yeah, can you uh, try Jordan Peak? Yeah. And let me share my it's, it's screen like with everybody. And then that way you can kind of take a look here so here's a map google map can you see that okay me yeah oh sorry no i'm just on my phone I can't oh you're on your phone okay yeah. okay 
Okay. <laughs> I don't have a computer. Yeah, so I got Mount Whitney right here. And so you're saying just south of that? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, yeah, we've got uh, got some lakes and stuff here, like Hitch, Hitch, Hitchcock Lakes. Okay. Um, um, go to uh, Maggie Lakes. Maggie Lakes. Let's see. Let me actually look that up real quick. Maggie. What were they Maggie called? Lakes. There we are. I have found it. Okay, Maggie Lakes is the it's it's the beginning of the Golden Trout. It's north. It's from our station. It's like a five minute helicopter flight. Okay. Um, let me. I'm gonna. Yeah, there's a Maggie Mountains, uh, Maggie Mountain Range there. Yeah. Let me cool. see. I'm gonna get it close to the. Map. I've actually got a picture of it right here, of Maggie Lake. It's not very big, but. Yeah, there, there's like three little small like pond lakes. Yeah. Oh, here's a perfect picture of it. Yeah, I got it here now. We're here. This is beautiful. Matter of fact, I will. Uh, I'll do that later, but I'll grab a picture of this. Okay, it's beautiful, a, beautiful lake, beautiful country, though. It's, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. Um, we can't even use chainsaws or, you know, nothing. It's, it's untouched land. We can't touch it until, like, we got a call, Sacramento, Sacramento call, the White House, uh, you know, it's, got, cause it, it's a monument. It's like, we can't really, you know, use chainsaws or nothing until. Yeah. We, we got to show them pretty much, which is how we fight these fires. We, we, we just rake off the trails and if, if it jumps over the trail we'll make a line on the trail and then we'll go back and rehab it like mm -hmm. throw a brush and there and that's when it, it's more more you know you hear more more stuff like snapping shit like like freaking crazy stuff we, we left one of one of our, our buddies doing weather and me and my other me and the captain went to go rehab that line and it was spinning weather you know it, it, you gotta stay like in the shady out of the fire pretty much uh -huh. and she was hearing a bunch of crazy stuff because you know the fire's done we're just rehabbing stuff so so they're there and then i i got the, the, the map right here it's, uh, it's table metals around and then white mountain like i told you I'll send you a picture of the map and then pictures of the stuff I took around the certain areas. Yeah, that'd be great, man. But one day we walked, we I got dropped off in burnt corrals and we were hiking like four miles in the in the willow in the willow. It's called the willow area right there, and then the half of the guys got dropped off somewhere else in H eight, and we got dropped off in H two. We're walking towards them. Well, they didn't really walk that much, but they said while well, they were walking to the bridge, they were just hearing wah 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 wah, like, like hey. Oh. Yes, I told, I told my buddies that you know, and they're like, oh Hector, that's a good thing you didn't freaking come with us, bro. You would have been shitting your pants. <laughs> 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 they, they were walking through certain areas, and they'll just be going like wah 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 wah. They were like, oh no, and then like once we got there, and then we we get there to the rendezvous point before then. Cause we pretty much just rehab those lines, and then mm -hmm. we hike like freaking four or five hours. And on and on those hikes, I would just see like I got a ten year old son, and just the front, not the hill, just like the the uh, the steepest parts too. You just see like not the whole footprint, but just like if it was tiptoeing, you know, just like the front part, like a, mm -hmm. like a small small footprint. Like my son, he's ten. Just like the two, the front, like if it was hopping or I don't know, and I'm like, I I have I had a cheap week as that's why, kind of yeah, I need to get like those, like those things to record or like a GoPro or something, you know? Cause yeah, there's a lot of stuff out there that that I don't take pictures of because I gotta delete some because you know how my memory and all that. Yeah, you know, you might take a, uh, you might take one of those um, little. Uh, voice recorders with you sometime and kind of maybe leave it out there about 20 or 30 feet away from a from a tent yeah, the next time you end up out there and just leave it on where where, where can i just send me um, um you can go to amazon i get them there for like 20 bucks 
Oh, no way. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I've got one that records up to like 10 hours or 12 hours for like $20. Nice. Where'd you yeah. get that in? Where, what are they <laughs> on Amazon. <laughs> Just look up voice recorders and you'll see like there's all kinds of them for like 20 bucks. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. as we, Well, we're getting there in that place. The guys, yeah, they were hearing all that stuff, and then, and then once they they meet up with us at the at the rendezvous point, this thing like, like like the girls like ah, like sound like frustrated like, like if they was doing that all the time. We were doing it too because we could hear the helicopter coming. <laughs> like, ah, we're getting picked up. <laughs> so we go back to ah, like a, like a pissed off girl like. Like annoying, like ugh, like weird, huh. man. It's pretty weird that that whole Willows area. That that I could like. I'll send you the the picture of the map, and then the, yeah, yeah, please do, and I'll share it with everybody. I'll share it with all of you guys listening here in the next uh, few days. I'll and share I'll that. I'll write a little, Facebook. a little. I'll write a little something. What what happened around that area? If, okay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was uh, that was absolutely intense. I couldn't imagine. Yeah, I couldn't imagine good. being there that night. That'd be that's just intense. I've had some pretty intense, uh -huh. you know, interviews on here, and that one, man, <laughs> I probably would have left. I would have just yeah. been gone. It's like yeah. I gotta go home. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. The the we got playing on my daughter's only kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Don't get down here. <laughs> and um well the I thought this a few days I thought it was a few days later. Um but the next it was the next day, it was the fourth of July actually. We um Flew back into it was H twelve. Uh, I think it's the water storm made on. Mm -hmm. I think ran the pipe. The pipe. We flew back in. We were uh, just pretty much cleaning up the area, you know, getting ready, taking down flagging, you know, picking up trash. We're kind of crews were bed down and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But my squad boss gets all all mission driven on MC. He wanted to do something, so he asked the division, "Hey, is there anything you want us to do?" Oh, you feel like doing something? All right. So there we go. Walk, walk the whole piece that the the hotshot crew had made. So we walk. We we're walking as we're going on in the in the morning. He he gets his mission before me. I had to go, you know, relieve myself. Cause I think those three nights I I didn't those MREs or maybe me, my scaredness. I I didn't have to go to number two or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Until uh, we flew out then. In the morning, it was like around 9 a.m. We flew back to that spot. Then, like I told you guys, mission journey, we started walking. It was like a four hour and a half walk or so. We mm -hmm. walked that whole piece. And then all the time, well, when I went, oh, yeah, I was talking about the number two, me relieving myself. Um, sorry, my kids. Um, yeah. I went, and I, I find this rock, and the brush is like, Probably seven, eight feet towering me, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Literally, once I got my, you know, my, caught me with my pants down, pretty much, I get that same numbing, like, I'm getting washed, like. like oh, that oh, feeling I'm, of being washed. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just yeah. looking at the brush. You know, I don't know if, I, if I'm seeing faces or whatever, you know. I just, pretty much a, a book of matches fell out of my pocket. And then I grabbed it and I had a like a backwood in my pocket and I mm -hmm. just remember hearing, you know, maybe if I throw some of this smoke, it'll stay away from me. And I I finished my thing, I lit up the the cigar as I'm sitting there because I'm already all nervous, this and that. I finish up my thing and I, I hop out of there. I'm always looking towards my back because it feels like I'm getting followed. Once <laughs> I get that, we get that mission. So we take off hiking, we walk in that dream. I'm feeling like we're getting washed the whole time. <laughs> we had two new guys with me, with us. It was just four of us again this time. Uh, and my squad about are like, 
Well, I'm gonna go check this whole thing. It got IR by helicopters and everything, you know what I mean? Pretty much to you guys, I was thinking these guys are already tired, they're falling, they're holding their Pulaski's with the ax up, you know, I'm just asking for, just don't, you go ahead and go walk, because I'm gonna take the guys up here with a kind of clear path where it was nuke, pretty much it's nuke, and where he went, there was a bunch of um, white thorn. You know those, you, you know what white thorn is like, mm -hmm. like a bush with a bunch of thorns, what? Yeah. He comes back, he comes back dirty, all scratched up, freaking panicked out, meets up with us, like, 30 minutes later, he meets up with us, and we're like, with the, the young guy, right, damn, dude, freaking wrestling bears out there, or what? <laughs> he was just dirty, dirty, Dave, I think, and his, his nose was scratched up, like, he ran through some white door, <laughs> he came back yeah. bleeding, full of dirt, he's like, Hector, what should we do now? I'm like, what do you mean, what should we do? We're just walking the line, bro, stop he was like panic. He like, okay, there's another lead us out, bro. He was like lost the rate. I'm like, okay, calm down. We're just gonna follow the retardant line and the retardant line is gonna tie him back to the trail. You know, I already had my things. So I, yeah. We're the, the guys didn't even want to go with him no more because he was all acting weird. So they stick to me and then he's kind of walking next to us. So we we get there to well, I'm just looking at the at the brush. Where, where it's nuked and then like five to 10 feet towards the, the trail, mm -hmm. there's like brush and you can see like, you could see all the trail from rodents to big, you know, the the game trails. I think that's what you call them. Mm -hmm. well, I was looking at them like, oh, if I don't want to catch something, I put a snare here, there. You know, I'm thinking dumb stuff already. Just... And then one of, one of the new guys like, Hector, footprint. I'm like, what? <laughs> Footprint, that's the one I think I sent it to you, which looks kind of, it's kind of, I sent you a foot, footprint. I don't know if you got it. Is that on, did you send that on Facebook? Uh, I sent it to your email. Uh, resend that to my email. Just okay. In case. Yeah, resend that. I'll add that into the pictures from the map and the, and the footprint and stuff. All right. And, awesome. Um, well, that and then we'll, we it's four or five hours we get to the back to the to the hella spot we're resting there and then um my buddy i had a bluetooth speaker and then one my buddy that had some music so we played it it was shakira it was a girl singing. Mm -hmm. and then once we sit down he uh, my buddy's all tired so the one that the spot about that was going crazy he lays down and we're all kind of laying down from our hike putting the music and then just from i don't know i just go like Something on top of a tree, cause then it, it sounded kind of high, you know. Mm -hmm. And with that that squad boss of mine, he was passed out already. He freaking jumps up on his feet, slaps the freaking speaker, turn that shit off. What was that like? You know what I mean? He, I think he saw something, but he don't want to admit it, cause mm -hmm. he's like, I just hear him under his breath, like. When he's coming, when he was talking like, man, I did too much shrooms and ass, and I'm making me see stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, dude, I, I don't know, bro. I don't think you saw something, cause you know he was just acting all scary, and once he heard that whistle, man, you should have seen him pop up. It's like you get up and you jump and you you jump right in your boots, <laughs> like type mm -hmm. of thing. He's like, yeah, all paranoid, like that, and then. So that I was just putting all this together. I'm like, you know, I'm not, I see nothing. I'm hearing stuff, you know, I'm feeling these things for a reason, you know what I mean? So I was, I accidentally, I just kind of, these um, correction officers were talking about them going to the park service right here in the Sequoia. Mm -hmm. And they, they were recording these yells. So I'm like, man, if these guys are talking about it, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not thinking crazy. Yeah, I, there is things out here. So that kind of yeah. made me. I, I I ran I ran into your 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 blogs or whatever. Yeah. Your, yours and Will's story, and then you know it just got me choked up. How he was, you know, explaining things like that, and then it's almost kind of like I mean, cheery. Yeah, you know. So I like, <laughs> no doubt. I, I, I did see some of these things are coming back to me. You know. Yeah. So, no, that was pretty, that's, that's pretty, that's creepy, man. But 
want to say thanks for being on. I want you to hang out here for just a second, okay? Okay. All right. And uh, thank you guys very much for being on here to this interview with uh, PacWest Bigfoot and our firefighter friend. Our hats off to him uh, for fighting those fires once again this last year when they ravaged through. And this year, we pray that there ain't, ain't a whole lot of that this year. <laughs> That's what we're hoping. But we've got great guys like this out there on the front lines if there is. So with that, um, I will see you guys on the next interview or encounter story. And God bless.